Welcome, here's Quist and today we are playing Nations the Dice Game from designer Rustan Horkonson from Asmodee or I think originally from a Finnish publisher it's from 1 to 4 players so you can play it solo and Board Game Geek says it takes about 20 to 40 minutes I think that's a little bit optimistic but I've never played in, in person only here and there's a lot of thinking involved so I think with me it takes probably longer anyway let's see how the game plays so when your first turn everybody rolls the well, let's look at the log first first uh, player order is determined I'm third player and the first player gets one book the second player two books third player three books and the fourth player four books uh, I tell you what those books mean later and then the first player makes his roll and his first move second player makes his roll and his first move and then it's me as third player to roll and make my first move every player has five white dice as you can see on the tableau so you're building a, thematically you're building a civilization um, I can't zoom on there but it doesn't really matter what the tiles name are um, so although every player starts with a different civilization um, there's no special power there so everybody starts with five dice which you can upgrade later and there are thematic names for each of the dice but it doesn't matter what they say each tile means you have one die one white die as you can see here, there are different kind of dice. White dice, orange dice, blue dice and red dice. So everybody starts with white dice, two sides gold or coins, one side has a book, one side has, oh, I'm not sure what that means in English, uh, I'm not sure what that means, one side a sword and one side a rock and you can use those dice on different ways when it's your turn you can either buy tiles, build a rondo or reroll then this is your turn, then the next player goes buy tiles, build rondo, reroll until you all player passed and then this happens in, in this order so um, you score books, so uh, you ac accumulate books um, over all of the four ages that are played so er, uh, four rounds basically and the player with the most books gets four points and three points, two points, one point depending how many books you have then then is scored famine and this rises on each age so in the first age you only need one of these <laughs> not sure what, what it's called one of these symbols to score one point if you don't have it you don't score the point and then player order is determined the m player with the most swords is starting player for the next turn and the second most swords the second player and so on and then war is counted where you have to have swords um, so here you need two swords for one point and then the next round starts and so on so what can you do on each turn the most uh, most often you buy tiles this is the tile tableau and tiles cost either swords or coins and depending in which row different amount so first row costs one of swords or coins second row two and third row three the colonies this is all, these are the green tiles you just when you buy them they just go uh, in a separate stack and uh, these you buy with swords so you um, use one die put it aside one sword and then you can buy one of those tiles and they dif give you different benefits this gives you one rock each turn, this one gives you one coin each turn, this one gives you a book each turn 
and the tiles the other tiles are all bought with coins there are brown tiles which are wonders you can only have one wonder in construction this goes on this spot after you buy them you have to spend rocks so like that or if you have this colony like that so this one costs one rock and it gives you also a number of points this one point and here also additionally a sword each turn then there are leaders they go on this spot so you can only have one leader and this one gives you one extra reroll each turn every player starts with one reroll each turn and then you can buy tiles which give you dice so this one gives you red die this one gives you an orange die and this one blue die and you have to put those tiles on top of one of the starting five tiles so you have one white die less but one orange blue or red die more and you have to if you put it on top of the white um, of one of the tiles with a white die you have to get rid of one of your white dies but it can be one of your already used ones so you can buy this uh, get rid of one of your used die and you have an basically still five dice left so this is really good early on to get extra dice because as you can see they are really better than the white dice the orange die is really good for getting coins so one side has even three coins and one uh, th the other sides have this green symbol here the blue die is really good for books and rocks so building wonders and getting books and red die is really good for getting swords and sometimes it gives you rock or a green symbol what you can always do on your turn turn two uh, dice into one coin two dice into one rock or two dice into one of the green symbols so let's see what the other players did loco bought this tile for one coin he got an orange die which is really good so he used one die um, get, got rid of it and now has orange die rerolled it and has two coins more now and so he has two free coin up to three coins so everybody has one coin each turn additionally to his five dice anyway so that's really good get an orange getting an orange die for one um, coin so that you see that's really good to go early but that's why he only has one book I already have three books so that's a little bit of compensation Shane took this tile for two coins and he got a blue die so basically the same thing getting a die early is really good so I think I want the die as well but I'm not sure if I want the red die I can afford the red die but I really want an orange one I think it's the most powerful early on uh, the buying power is really good that's at least my experience so far but I have to either reroll but that takes me my whole turn or turn two die two dice into a coin um, so let's see I think I want to. I think I want this orange die. I think I re-roll here. Um, or oh, not re-roll. Turn two dice into a coin. So I think I use this die. It all depends what I roll with the orange die though. If I roll two coins I can get this wonder maybe. Uh, but I probably won't get this wonder. Loco has... well he can afford even a second... Um, second new die. This one has no coins. He probably takes a colony here. 
and I don't see what the fourth player rolls so far. I probably won't get the one. Ah, there's already another wonder. So maybe I get a wonder. So I think I spent. Yeah, I probably get a wonder. I think I take the risk and make this. Turn this into a die. Spend this and this and get the orange die. Doesn't matter where you put it. Here. Get rid of one of my dice. Reroll it. And it's not coins. That's sad to see. I really wanted the coins so that I can build a wonder. So this was not a great turn. Well. <laughs> sad to see. See you on the next turn. Thought about it a little bit in between turns and I think I really messed up. I think I should got the red die. It was I don't think it was worth it to spend a lot of dice just to get the orange die. But in my experience the orange die is really good so I thought it would worth it be worth it but I'm not sure yet. So what did the other players do? The fourth player got the red die then the red player got uh, the other red die and the green player rerolled. So they have all a lot of swords. So saving the sword for a player order I don't think it's worth it. So I think I spend one sword. I'm not sure which one I get. I already have the orange die to get money next round, but additional money really doesn't hurt. I could also get a rock, which is also really good. What is better? I think more money. So let's get that. Oh, yeah, I get the benefit immediately, so I can use that one money if I get the chance to. It, and it's, no one has any money, so I can buy this one later and use the rock to build that wonder. I haven't thought about that, but yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that's great. Let's see what the other players did. The purple player turned two and dies into a coin and bought uh, Wonder, what I really wanted. Uh, the red player just re-rolled and the green player turned wow, twice two dice into two coins and bought a Wonder. Interesting. I looked up what the symbol means. It symbolizes food uh, probably wheat, grain, or something like that. Alright, so... I can turn these two dice into a sword to get this colony. I can turn these two dice into a coin. With this coin I can get this leader, which gives me additional reroll. Or I can do just nothing and pass, which gives me one point because of this die. Interesting options. I think I rather have this colony for a rock than this leader. Yeah, and this rock is really helpful in later in the game when wonders um, are, give a lot of points and you need a lot of rock or stone um, to complete it. So I think I'll do that. I spend this, this. Oh, I can't turn it into sword. Well. can also reroll one more time, but if it gets back to me, this thing is um, is gone. Um, I can turn.
only turn it two dice into foods, stone or coins. I can't turn it into sword. Um, that's unfortunate. So I can decide to reroll this die and hope to get a sword and hope that this isn't gone. Maybe I can get a coin and this isn't gone. Then then I get one point and this. Yeah, I think I just reroll this die. And hope. So uh, this one and reroll, and it's a book. A book isn't that is better than a stone that I don't need. So let's see what happens. So the purple player rerolled one and got one more sword. So he's probably going to be starting play next round. The red player passed with four dice left. Well, he couldn't use his coin. He has a book, he, uh, which is nice. He has food, uh, which is a point, and he is higher up in the play turn order because of his swords. And the green player built his wonder. Yeah, so I have now either the option to turn both dice into a coin and buy. Um, this leader, but I don't think I want to do that. I think I'd rather get a point and this one, which makes me even with uh, the purple player, which also scores me an additional point. No, I wait. Uh, no, I th still get two points, but. The power player get one, what gets one point less, I think. That's how that works. So I pass. H2 now, but before we continue, let's see what happened in between. Purple player got uh, this colony, which grants him a stone. Green player passed. The purple player built his wonder for one point and one food token. Then the books were resolved. I used the book and the red player used the book. So the purple player and me both got two victory points. Then the food got resolved. The purple player, me and the red player all got a point while the green player didn't. And then player order got resolved. I'm last, of course, as expected and then the war happens so the red player got a point the purple player got a point and the green and player and me both got no points so I have three victory points now red player two the purple player even five and the green player one okay red player took a blue and a white die for one coin The purple player took an orange and a white die for one coin. Yeah, that's why going first is really good. The green player took also an orange and a white die for two coin. And now it's me. I can take the red and white die. Oh man, but I didn't roll any more coins. So I have either the option of spending both my coin tokens to get this and reroll the red and the white die or just because I have two stone just get this porcelain tower wonder and build it but I really need more die dice. Yeah, let's get the more dice. I hope this is correct. So spend this and spend this. Get this. Uh, doesn't matter. 
now I have to spend one of my white dice. Uh, I get a red die, so I get probably get swords. So I think I spent my sword. Or should I? Or should I spend a book? Um, let's think about that. I can... I have a decent chance of rolling swords with my red die, so maybe I can get one of those colonies later. Yeah, let's spend the book. And roll. <laughs> and this was terrible. I rolled a stone. And another book. This was not great. I think next turn I re-roll. Okay, that's my turn. Okay, let's see what the other players did. The red player took the leader for two re-rolls. The purple player took the leader for two re-rolls. And the green player re-rolled. So all the wonders are still there. So I think I want to re-roll my terrible roll here. And keep... Hmm. Do I keep two or three stones? Well, let's see what the other... I think the power player will buy a wonder because he has two stones and three coins. So he probably takes this porcelain tower because he can build it. The red player... takes probably one wonder for next round as he can't build it now then I need three coins then I need a really lucky roll to get three coins but still this is the best thing I can do um, I think the key question is if I uh, try to get three coins and um, we roll a white die, one of my rocks, or stones. Or if I try to get lucky and get one of the two coin ones, and then then I need probably this one for free stone. So let's see, I re-roll this die, I re-roll this die, and I re-roll this die. And I think I need free stones, so I think I re-roll these. Hey, I rolled three coins! Nice! So I get a wonder build. Yeah, this was really nice. So red bought that one wonder. Purple re-rolled, interesting. And green passed with a lot of dice left. Well, he ha gets the two points for here. He gets the two points for here. And there's a coin unspent and two books. Yeah, that's not not bad. Um, as he has no uh, stone, buying a wonder is not a great thing. Yeah, I think that's fine. So, well, I buy this wonder then. Because that's the best one. I don't need three dice, but... Yeah, it doesn't matter. So, two. I'll buy this wonder. And that's my turn. Right, red player rerolled, probably wanted stone, didn't get any. And the purple player rerolled. And uh Yeah, so it's me again. And I'm spending one, two, three stone and build this wonder. And that's my turn. So a lot happened in between because I passed. Um let's see what happened. Red player we rolled, purple player we rolled, then here I passed. Red player we rolled again. The purple player we rolled I had luck here, as you can see, we rolled a free coin free coin die and got with it a wonder. Red player passed and he built a wonder and bought another colony which gave him a book and then passes uh, as well. I had no books 
green player, purple player and red player all pay, had books. So it was really close, the purple player got 3 points, uh, but he has only one book more than all of us. And then food, the green player and the purple player had enough food, while the, uh, I and the red player didn't. And then player order were determined and I was last again because I had no swords. And the red player and the green player had enough swords to win the war. And the purple player and I did not. This leaves us with I have 6 points, green player 5 points, the red player 4 points and the purple player 12 points. So let's see, this is now H3. The red player rolled, bought the two orange die for two coins. The green player rolled, bought the two red die for two coins. And the purple player rolled and bought the two blue die for three coins. And now it's my turn. I have of course I didn't roll any swords with my red die and of course I didn't roll any coins with my orange die. Not a great roll. Um, of course I want more, uh, more dice I think now. Um, do I spend two, two dice and a token or two tokens and a die? Because I might reroll one of of those dice. I think I'd spend one, two, three. Let's think about it now again for a second. Uh, but yeah, I definitely want that. And I replace the roll die and re-roll. <laughs> wow, that's terrible. <laughs> well, I don't want to add too many coins. Um, one more coin maybe would have been nice, but at least one of those dice could have given me two food, so that I have four food for the three points here. And I don't have enough coin, enough um, I don't have enough uh, stone to build a wonder. And it's terrible. I don't like my chances to win, have any chances of winning here. Yeah, but let's see how it goes. So the red player built his wonder. Green player bought a colony, which gave him a coin, and the purple player rerolled. So let's see what I can do. I have two coins. I can build this one, but there's four rocks. No way I can build this this turn. Maybe for next turn, I can buy this wonder. This would give me the fourth food that I need. So yeah, this would be nice. I can also get one of those leaders. So I think I get first the wonder, then probably there's a leader left that I need to can take. And then I try to build this wonder. Oh, but then I have to reroll these two dice, and in three rerolls of the, these two dice, I need to roll two rocks to stone. That's very unlikely. Another possibility would be to roll this die to hold, get, at least get two swords, which is 50%, and get this colony, or to at least get one stone, that's 66 per, uh, one sword, to get 66%, to get this colony. Or two swords and not buy anything and get these three points. 
I'm not sure what to do that, but I think I buy the wonder. So let's do that. Next turn, the red player rerolled. And he has now four food, that's probably what he wanted. And the green player bought a leader. And the purple player bought a wonder. Which he can build, that's another five points for him. He's probably going to win. It looks great for him. So I'm going to buy that leader. And it's my turn. So the red player rerolled a stone and rolled a food. Probably what not what he wanted because now he has five food. The green player got a colony, which gave him a book and one point. And the purple player rerolled as well. So again, we have two um, options with three food. So one option is to reroll and hopefully get a food. And the other thing I probably want is with the red die two more sorts to get the Brazil colonies to get stone for next turn to build this wonder. Or to reroll to the two white dice and get two more stone to build this wonder this turn. Problem though that the orange dice are useless then this turn, so I'm really liking to try to get food and stone. So I think I activate this and a uh, food and salt I mean. And reroll. Okay. Now I have four food and a book, but I can't get to colony. Uh, let's see what I do later. Next turn, the red player did another reroll, his last one, and got one more food, which doesn't matter. The green player rerolled a lot of dice, and what's important, he rolled three swords. So he's likely to get this one, if he wants it, but I'm sure he wants it. And the purple player rerolled his last reroll and rolled even more stone, so he's building the wonder for sure. So. I'm thinking about leaving those dice. I have four food, so this gives me three victory points. I can reroll this die to get three uh, swords, but he probably, the green player probably takes this from me. So I'm not taking the risk. And the book and the sword are nice. I get, uh, the book is the fifth book. And no other player has a book, so this likely gives, if it stays like that. Um, the green player maybe rerolls it, but I'm likely to get, not I'm likely, I'm uh, guaranteed to get one victory point because I have more books than the red player. And the sword maybe gives me um, I just noticed that a red player also had free, has three swords, so yeah, one of those takes uh, take those takes this colony. And the red player probably takes it, and then I have one sword more uh, than him, so I'm not last. That's at least nice. So, yeah, I'm passing. So, the red player passed as well, didn't buy the colony. The green player rerolled, the purple player built a wonder. The green player rerolled again, the purple player passed, and the green player built a wonder. So nobody got that colony. Hmm. So it might have been worth it to go for it. Not sure. Then we used our books, and I'm now on third position. Got one point. I got the three points from the food. As did the red player. I'm still in last position, and two players got the three points for the. War. So red player goes first, bought a wonder, green player got a colony, purple player bought a wonder. And I have 11, 15, 12, 19, so I'm last now. And I'm pretty sure I land on last because I had, again, 
I don't have a blue die, so this will be really tough to build this wonder. Um, this really bites me now. Not a really... Uh, the coins. I have so many coins now, but it's not really useful now. I can buy a good wonder here for 8 points, but no way I can get 6 stone. Uh, I can get this leader for two points, but it's only one point more than I the leader I already have. Um, I can also buy this um, this one this tile here, uh, which replaces one of my die ties. And yeah, not really interesting interested in anything there. I really want to build this wonder. Um, free food gives me four point. I already have that, but if I build this wonder, I get one more food. And the orange die coins don't help me that much, so I think I reroll. I don't need need f more than three coins, so I think I reroll this, 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 and this, and hope to get a food here. Or it doesn't really matter what I get here. When I build this wonder, I really want to get this free to get stone. Or two of the free to get stone, I think. And reroll. No luck. <laughs> this was terrible. Alright. So the red player rerolled, the green player bought one of the one point tiles. And the purple player rerolled. So I think I reroll all the same dice again. This one, this one, and this one, and hope to get stone. I got the three um, swords, so I can get an additional victory point. That might be nice, but I get no stone, and I only have one reroll left. So, as I have three swords, I should take the opportunity to buy one of the colonies. All other three players have passed in between. Eh, not passed, um, rerolled. So, those are basically the same, so it doesn't really matter. I just get this one. And that's my turn. So, the red player rerolled and is out of rerolls and can't build this wonder. The green player bought the one point tile and used one of his die dice. And the pearl player bought one of the two point leaders, got us also two points more. And so there's nothing less for left for me to grab. And yeah, so the only thing left to consider is do I roll t these two dice and hope to get two stone? <laughs> these three coins are all wasted, it's a shame. Um, or do I reroll the stone and the coin to ha ha uh, hope for more books? Um, I just noticed that the purple player got six swords free food and four stone all he wants to get 13 more points wow i think that's really what you want to get red blue and orange dice uh, i didn't get a blue die so that hurt me a lot every other player had all three dice and i didn't so yeah um so what do i do now so the only things that help me are books and stone. Stone only help me if I'm getting free stone and books help me the more I get the more it helps me. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going for the riskier route and just hope to get lucky. And reroll. No. I didn't get lucky, but at least I got a book, so that's nice. That's um, pro my last turn. I um, I pass next turn, and then the scoring happens. 
So the game is over and uh, Purple Player has a really big lead. He has more double the points than I have. Wow. Yeah, sorry that I didn't play that well here. I played way worse than in my um, first game that I uh, tried out the game the first time. There it was really close, but here I played, played pretty badly or I was unlucky, probably both. But yeah, I'm not playing the game for showing you how to play it well. I'm playing the game to show you how it's played, how the rules are, how it feels, what the thought processes are and so on. So I hope I could give, could have given you a good feeling of the game anyway. Leave some comments as always and see you soon. Bye.